Hey everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead and I'm back in the kitchen. I am going to be making some banana breads. I have bananas that I back vac sealed in 2020. These are bananas the kids got uh, from their school uh, when they were doing the remote learning because of the COVID that went around back in 2020. And lunches were, I had to go pick up lunches for them. And they don't eat bananas. So I took the bananas and I froze them. And I have a bunch. So I am taking them out and we are making banana breads. The kids like banana bread, so I'm going to make up a bunch of banana breads. And I'll freeze those and just pull one out whenever, you know, the kids want a banana bread. So follow me along, guys. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. Okay, so in this bowl I whisked together two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and I'm just mixing all that up and we're going to set this aside and we're going to get over to uh, my uh, mixer and do the brown sugar and the butter. Alright, so we are got, we have three quarters cup of brown sugar and we have one stick of butter softened at room temperature. So we're going to start it out um, on high speed. We want to get it all creamy. And then we are going to put it on medium speed and add the two eggs. These were supposed to be room temperature eggs, but I didn't realize that. And I've been gone all morning, so we're just going to go with regular eggs that are right out of the fridge. a spatula. Just clean up the sides and the bottom. Excuse the noise outside. I have road work going on outside of my driveway. Alright. Get that down, lock it. So we're going to add the eggs one at a time. that whip itself up. Then we're going to add in the bananas and I'm not using yogurt, I'm using sour cream and vanilla. So we're going to add in the, the um, one third cup of sour cream. This is room temperature. It's been sitting out while I've been out doing what I got to do. Now we're going to add in the mashed bananas. We need how much mashed bananas? We need two cups. So let's see. Let grab a measuring cup. Shut this off. going to start using up some of these bananas. 
see how much each one makes. I need two cups, so that is almost two cups. All right, I added the vanilla and the mashed banana. The bananas all together. We're going to put it in here. I'm working on limited space here. Whoops. The counters are very small. So now that I have this on low, we're going to slowly add the dry ingredients. Oh, let me be right back. All right, I put my, maybe I'm not putting this kitchen guard on right, unless it's not the right size, I don't know. I hardly ever use it. But we're gonna try. isn't working. I gotta figure out how this goes. Alright. I don't know if it's on right, but I'm doing it. I had never used this guard and it's sliding. But it's an actual KitchenAid one, so I don't understand. Look at that. It's making quite the mess. Quite the mess. <sighs> it's been a hectic morning. I am part of a few free cycle groups on Facebook and there was people looking for some items that I actually had. So they one moment. Alright. Well anyway, so like I was saying, I uh there was things that I had that people were looking for, and it's a free group. So I'm like, all right. And it was in a few towns away, about 20 minutes or so. And uh, since I was going out that way anyway, because I wanted to get a salad spinner um, from Walmart. I told them that I would drop the items off that they were looking for. It was some binders, uh, you know, school binders. And um, yesterday I had went through the twins' buckets of crayons, markers, and stuff they've had since they were little. And I filled up two gallon bags, two gallon Ziploc bags of colored pencils and uh, markers and stuff. So, uh, I, I gave them to her too. And I went and picked up my salad spinner and uh, gave the lady the stuff. She was very excited and happy because she didn't have to pay for them. And that's the whole purpose of that group. So, I like, if I have it, I love donating it. Alright, so, do not over mix. Spread into the pan and bake for 60 to 65 minutes. Let's see. Uh, all right, so we're gonna take this off. Let that paddle drip down. I do have a different recipe that I'm gonna make too, another one, because I have a lot of bananas here. So, I should have doubled this batch, but I wanted to try the other recipe as well. And so, what's what we're going to do? We're going to clean this paddle off. It smells good. This is a Timu paddle. I ordered it off a of Timu. is not going well for me. What the heck? Okay, let's clean this one off. It's 
a lot of stuff still stuck in this paddle. Hmm. Well, I'm going to clean it off and turn the mixer back on to mix this stuff because it didn't look like... Maybe it's this paddle. This is from Team Moon, by the way, so... One moment, please. All right, so I have finished this one here. It's going to go in the oven still, but I'm going to make the second recipe. Um, it's the chocolate chip banana bread, and so I've got half a cup of un uh, butter and two-thirds cup sugar going in here right now. And then we're going to add two lightly beaten eggs. So I just added the eggs. And I'm just using everything, all the same bowls and stuff that I did have um, everything in because I am not washing. It's all going to be banana bread. I might have to have this um, looked at or adjusted because the bottom doesn't get mixed. So I don't know. I don't use this very often, to be honest. But it's always good to have a KitchenAid. So, I'm just cleaning this off a little bit. All right, we're gonna get this back down in here to do some more. And then we are going to uh, add the bananas with some vanilla. So it needs three bananas. So this is a two banana one. I think this is a one banana one. Yep. So. Just gonna pour them right out of the uh, back seal bags. That was the one banana one. And then this one is the two banana one. I started this this morning, getting everything ready, but I didn't realize I had um, some things come up. So this is kind of, it, I didn't really have the time to be doing this, but I had already planned it and took everything out. Got everything to room temperature, like the sour cream and all that. So, gotta stick with it here. So that is mixing up. We're gonna add um, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Get that all mixed up. Let's see. Now in a separate bowl, we're going to do one and a half cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, and a half teaspoon salt, and we're going to mix that up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bowl that I had mixed the other batch in, just wipe it down a little bit because there's some wet stuff on there, wet banana. So, how much flour? One and a half cups flour. One teaspoon baking soda. Which I had a teaspoon over here somewhere. A moment please. But that was used to do something wet, so we'll get another one. You know, I don't like measuring cups that you can't see. You have to like put it in the light. I wish they would make them with 
darker lettering. All right. And we're going to do a half teaspoon of salt. Add to, we're going to mix that up. Add that so ever so slowly. To that. Now I am going to take some mini uh, chocolate chips and add those but I gotta find them <sighs> one moment please all right so I found the chips they were hidden way in the back of my cabinet <sighs> so those are mini chips um, I mix those in. Now we're going to pour it into a pan and add the remaining chocolate chips on top. Let that drain down. Boy, did I make a mess of this mixer. <laughs> I have quite the mess going on on this counter. And my uh, apron and my fingers and everything else. We'll see how this goes. This Again, these <coughs> excuse me. These um, bananas were in there in the freezer since 2020. All right. So now we're going to sprinkle some more um, the, of the larger chips because that's what I have left is some larger chips. So we'll just not too many though. All right, now that is going to go in the oven for 55 to 65 minutes as well. So I'm going to put both in right now. All right, and for the last recipe, cinnamon swirl banana bread. So I have two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and I am mixing this all together and I'm going to set this aside right now all right so i got the eggs in there now we're going to beat in the mashed bananas and this is a little more than what it called for because it only called for i think one and a half cups but i had two so i'm just using it and then we're going to do a third of a cup of the yogurt or the sour cream I'll tell you, this is quite the mess over here today, but that's all right. And then we'll add in the vanilla, which is a teaspoon of vanilla. Let that blend up, and I'll be me right back. Okay, so I mixed some sugar and some cinnamon. That's going to be for the middle layer. Just 
letting that mix up a little bit and then I grease another nine by by pan. This is so discombobulated guys so I'm sorry if it's a little all over the place. Um, I had planned to do this. I had everything out and then something came up and I had to run out and so everything just got kind of changed around and uh, so my mind isn't on it right now. I'm sorry, but I'm doing it because I have all these, but I was supposed to make this banana bread yesterday and it's been sitting in the fridge. You know, I thought it out the day before yesterday and, you know, sometimes things just come up. So, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off. Pour half of this into the pan. Just half. Spread it out. My God, my mixer is disgusting. Sprinkle with cinnamon sugar mixture, pour and spread remaining batter on top. of the batter on top as best as I can. And I got to use up all my bananas from 2020. Next, I have some strawberries from last seed, uh, well, from this past summer um, that I threw in there. So, we're going to use those up in another dish, uh, probably like a strawberry bread. Okay. Um, using a knife, swirl the batter down the center of the loaf pan. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. This one just came out of the oven, so I'm not even going to touch it because it's too hot. But this is the banana bread chocolate chip, the banana bread, and the banana bread cinnamon. Yum.